it really is is brought musical theater to this generation in a way they they had not been exposed to it before. It was the best trip. The slopes were perfect. And I met the hottest little snow money ever. It's the classic story of Romeo and Juliet, Greece, West Side Story, all those teen angst kinds of plays. This particular show is so full of high energy dance numbers. Uh, these kids are sweating. I would say collectively, the kids have lost probably 200 pounds. We start the show and we end the show with two big, wonderful numbers. Some of them are huge. I mean, it's like uh, a music video um, that we're performing live on stage each night. More than just a summer camp, these cast members came from schools around the metro area to fill the halls of the fictional East High School. And they got to perform the musical four times for the public at the Arvada Center Amphitheater this summer. It's the most ambitious drama camp produced in the Arvada Center's 20-year history of drama camps, says education coordinator Lisa Leafgreen. What we decided this year is that we would make a collaborative performing arts and education production. And so what that means is that we're adding in a whole level of professionalism that the students of our drama camps have never been able to experience before. Okay, I warned you once, Mr. One, two, three, do the bop, bop, bop. They're working with professional set designers, musical directors, choreographers, costumers, all levels. They're working with professionals. Professionals like Anita Boland stepping up to lead them through the choreography. Back on your left. And music director Keith Ewer helping them hit a high note. You should have belted out even more than what you've been belting out now. So it's full on this time, and let's see what we got. And director Doug Rosen, who's been with the Arvada Center for more than 15 years and watched many of these teens grow up. Year after year, I hear about students, or I hear from students who have gone on to big successes, and um, it's very, very gratifying. The intensity of this year's five and a half week camp brings a taste of what real professional theater is all about and also real life, something Rosen likes to emphasize. Your costumes will be hung up and in order for the next show, period. Welcome to the job. Well, I'm impressed. You're a genius. <laughs> Please, it was just an equation. It's that kind of program. It's the kind of program that they eat, breathe, and live it. Good, try it again. I'd say lifelong friendships are developing right now. They are friendships born of a shared passion for theater. Some are in the camp for the first time ever, while others have been coming here more than five years. It's fun because they can really improve no matter what level they're at. I warned you once, Mr. Kathy. Do the bop, bop, bop. Do the Don't ever stop. Music itself and then the arts and acting, all of that helps develop that other side of us that makes us who we are. You can do the reading, writing, arithmetic all you want to, and we can all be smart and figure that out, but until we know how to apply them, and that's where the arts come in, that's what's important. Joelle Montoya, a senior from Mullen High School, is no stranger to the Arvada Center drama camps. This Littleton resident has been coming here since eighth grade. It seems like there's a very personal connection here with every student, you know. Doug is a terrific director. Um, I've learned, I've done the camp for about four years and I've come back every time. It's just an amazing camp and you learn something new every single time. Oh, I'm sorry, I just think it should be 10 to the negative 18 power. I play Gabriela Montez and she is kind of to herself. Um, she's very smart and she meets this guy and brings the best out of her, I guess, you know, opens her up a bit. So. You really want to do the callbacks? Cassandra Cahill, a junior from St. Mary's Academy, plays the role of Taylor. Taylor is kind of the brainiac of the school, and she leads all the smart kids around. Au revoir, mon ami. I love it when you speak German. <laughs> Dankeschön. I have this moment where I use my laptop to hack into the school's electrical grid and I basically make all the lights in the school go out. And because of that, I stop the science decathlon where Gabriella is at the time, and I make it so that she can leave the decathlon and go do her callback for the musical, which is what she's been really wanting to do. Those magical moments are many in Disney's high school musical.
It's kind of culturally relevant in high school. I mean, in this play you'll see there's a lot of, there's like a skater crowd, there's a Brainiac crowd. Corey Ellison of Pomona High School has been coming to the Arvada Center since he was nine years old. He plays the hard-headed coach Bolton, who has a hard time coming to terms with his son Troy's love of singing. Like basketball is the only thing that matters, nothing else does. And then when he hears about Troy singing, he kind of gets kind of blown away because, well, this isn't what you want to do. You want to tell me something, Bolton? Something about singing? No. No. <clears throat> I, I mean, you know. Kind of grows to understand and be a little bit more open hearted to his son and figures out this it's what Troy wants, not what he wants for him. He's not a bad singer either. Cipriano Ortega is another Arvada Center veteran. This senior from Denver School of the Arts has been coming to the Arvada Center for six years. smile. I play uh, Ryan Evans, which is uh, Sharpay Evans's uh, younger brother, but he's a twin, so he's eight minutes younger than she is. And so he's the vice president of the drama club, and she's the president. So, and he's always kind of second best with, with her and the school. High School Musical has been a hit with him. I really like the way that it shows acceptance and to high school, and it really gives the perception of how people should really be with each other. Break a leg. Huh? In show business, that means good luck. It speaks to the kids. It's got all of their vernacular. It's all of their catchphrases. Of course, it's Disney, so Disney has a, a stamp on pop culture. They just hit a nerve, I think. Um, right time, right place, right cast, and it's just been a smash success. A successful play and a successful senior drama camp. You always know that whatever you're doing here, it's probably the best out of all the other things that are available. Leave it to me, I can do anything with my laptop. And a summer experience filled with lessons and memories. What will they take with them? Oh, they will never forget this summer. 2008 is the summer they did High School Musical. For more information on the camps and classes at the Arvada Center, check their website at arvadacenter.org slash education.